yes so guys please respond am i audible very good morning guys uh, welcome to iitns get classes yeah so can we start this session yeah thank you guys for responding so welcome to iitns gate classes and uh, this session is going to be very important session uh, before that let me upload So guys, be free to for any doubt or concern during this session and let's have an interactive session. Okay, so let's start. So this is in brief about our gate uh, 2025 and 2026 uh, aerospace engineering courses for gate. Uh, we have gate online coaching. Uh, we have target gate course, uh, gate online test series, distance learning program. And uh, uh, to know in more about these courses, you guys, you guys can uh, visit our website or can reach to us. And this is in brief about me, myself, Dinesh Kumar Maheshwari. I'm organizer come chief mentor at IGC. And these are my academic credentials along with uh, industrial experience. And guys, uh, this session is all about gate aerospace uh, engineering. So here we will, uh, you know, try to know more about gate aerospace exams and other important stuffs like uh, preparation resources, reference, uh, you know, uh, part and everything. Uh, reference books and all. So in this session, the agenda of this session is like to know in brief about gate. Okay. Uh, so about gate exam and nitty gritty of the gate exam and then gate aerospace syllabus as uh, as per gate 2024 exam uh, currently 2025 syllabus is not available it will be available once like gate 2025 details are available in august uh, month around okay and uh, how IGC approach uh, this syllabus that also we'll discuss and then get AE preparation resources we will discuss uh, on SAM and then uh, what is subject that is uh, many people ask from each subjects how many questions come so that also we'll see from last five six years I think six to seven years and uh, what are the success key uh, you know key for uh, success in gate aerospace and uh, in brief we will discuss about igc open work for all and other steps as well so let's start with uh, uh, you know gate so gate is basically graduate aptitude test in engineering and most of you are aware uh, because uh, some of you have already joined uh, igc and uh, uh, many of you you have uh, you know either have written gate exam or aware of them so a gate exam is online and it is for three hours and the total marks is 100 marks okay and there are two sections section one is general aptitude it is for uh, 15 marks and though so total 10 questions in general aptitude five for one marks and five for two marks so that is about section one and section two is technical subjects uh, it is for 85 marks it is called as core aerospace engineering so there are total 55 questions out of 55 25 will be for one marks and 30 will be for two marks so this is how gate exam happen in two sections section one and section two and uh, if you look into the type of questions or question pattern there are three type of questions asked in gate exam uh, one is multiple choice question mcqs 
Uh, second is multiple select question MSQs where you need to answer more than one option. And there is NAT, numerical answer type. So in numerical answer type, you need to just, you know, type your answer algebraically. Okay. So what question? Now, uh, negative marking. So there is only negative marking for MCQs. There is no negative marking for NATs and MSQs. Okay. And uh, negative marking for one mark question, it is one by three and uh, two by three for two mark question. So guys, is it clear everyone? The pattern of gate exam uh, and uh, <clears throat> the kind of question they ask and uh, other stuffs in brief. Hopefully it is. So let's move to next part. So who is going to organize gate 2025 as per pattern? Organizing uh, Institute will be IIT Roorkee, okay, for GATE 2025. Now, guys, the next part is what? Syllabus, okay. So, syllabus, uh, uh, there are two parts in syllabus. Section one is what? General aptitude. And there is uh, no defined syllabus for general aptitude. But in general aptitude, they ask usually quantitative aptitude, uh, then 3D and spatial aptitude and English and reasoning. So that's how, you know, syllabus for general aptitude. Okay. And uh, guys, if you want to really get top rank in uh, GATE, then general aptitude is most important because it is for 15 marks and it is going to be easy if you practice well. Okay. And in IGC, we cover uh, general aptitude also very well guys now guys the next part which is what core aerospace engineering syllabus so currently we will discuss guys syllabus based on uh, 2024 syllabus so if you look uh, 2024 syllabus first section is what uh, engineering mathematics and from engineering mathematics you can see the linear algebra is first topic and you all know right in our fair batch we started with this section one and with engineering uh, mathematics linear algebra then you guys have calculus calculus is uh, uh, is bit uh, big topic mm, bit uh, you know big topic and always you know ask for uh, in exam also like, at least like four marks around so the calculus which is very important not just for gate exam and uh, not just for your gate exam as well as for your engineering further your master's program as well or uh, currently in your engineering as well then differential equations and then there are several special topics so special topics are there like laplace transformation numerical methods uh, and then probability and statistics so there was this year from both numerical method also and probability and statistic also there was question on linear algebra. There was a question on differential equation. And there was a question from calculus. So around six questions they asked in GATE uh, 2024 exam. Now guys, uh, the next is what? Flight mechanics. Section two is flight mechanics as per syllabus. So in flight mechanics, there are three topics actually. The first is what? Basics of atmosphere and then airplane performance and then aircraft stability so in aircraft stability there are two parts static stability and dynamic stability so they, they have uh, mentioned dynamic stability in special topic and static stability in core topic so this is how syllabus for flight mechanics guys okay and we always teach very well these uh, all three topics now the next section three they mention space dynamics so in space dynamics syllabus is very small okay it's a very small subject but it's uh, yeah, it's still a uh, scoring and important subject and in gate uh, 2024 they asked space dynamics for five marks three questions for five marks and all um, all those three questions were easy questions okay so the syllabus is what central force motion which is what um, your gravitational basics and then determine uh, determination of trajectory and orbit period in simple cases like orbit uh, uh, mechanics and Kepler's law and escape velocity. 
there is no special topics earlier days there were some special topics like orbit transfer and all now they have removed that from syllabus now if you take syllabus of aerodynamics so guys in aerodynamics uh, uh, basically we divide aerodynamics in three part you can say there is basic fluid mechanics okay basic fluid mechanics and then uh, potential flow theory airfoil and wings and compressible flow so compressible flow is nothing but your gas dynamics and this potential flow theory and airfoil and wing is what your low speed aerodynamics we call low speed aerodynamics okay and compressible fluid flow is what your gas dynamics now again there is wind tunnel testing uh, measurement and visualization technique shock boundary layer interaction these all comes under gas dynamics only or you can say under compressible fluid flows so guys uh, since you all have started uh, preparing for gate exam you guys should know at least syllabus well ki what all uh, topics are there in each subject so you plan your studies accordingly okay now guys uh, why 2024 syllabus we are discussing because usually there is no uh, uh, there is not going to be much change in syllabus they may change some topic but from last two years they have not changed anything in syllabus like if you compare 2023 syllabus and 2024 syllabus it is more of same only now the next important is what structures module so in structures uh, first strength of material is there and in strength of material uh, you can find some topics uh, are from uh, engineering mechanics also like trusses and all okay so uh, and uh, this is uh, going to be very important subject strength of material guys and uh, in igc we teach best this module because uh, uh, we have subject expert and uh, everything from structure is taught and structure is always a tough subject many people are afraid of this so strength of material second is what flight vehicle structure or we call thin wall structure or aircraft structure third is what structural dynamics which is nothing but mechanical vibration there are special topics like vibration of beam which is nothing but continuous vibration theory of elasticity like equilibrium and compatibility equation area stress function so these all are part of like aircraft structures basics okay so that's how the syllabus of uh, this uh, uh, syllabus of uh, structures module and you can see here statically determinant and indeterminate trusses so trusses and all usually we study in engineering mechanics and some other basics of um, mechanics also covered okay. now the last part is what propulsion so in propulsion, if you see, uh, they have basics like thermodynamics basics. They have not mentioned anything specifically syllabus, but um, thermodynamics, uh, boundary layer, uh, thermodynamics, then uh, boundary layer, uh, which is again from fluid mechanics, uh, heat transfer, uh, combustion and thermochemistry. So from last... Uh, almost every year they ask one questions from this uh, thermochemistry part which you guys might have learned well in your plus two in chemistry okay then uh, aerothermodynamics of aircraft engines like mainly like uh, you, you know uh, this uh, cycle analysis okay so where you find efficiency and all different cycle analysis is done under this aerothermodynamics then turbo machinery so in turbo machinery you have compression and turbine so those are studied well under uh, turbo machinery and you can see here uh, specifically separately they mention uh, centrifugal compressor axial turbine and then a uh, rocket propulsion so th the initially this is thermodynamics basics then jet propulsion and then you have rocket propulsion so uh, they are asking also question regularly from rocket propulsion two to three question in exam and then there are special topics like aerothermodynamics of non-rotating propulsion components such as intake combustion nozzle uh, turbine blades cooling compressor turbine 
uh, you know, matching shirt and scarf. So these are all other um, related topics to, you know, uh, propulsion, which are very interesting topics where, you know, uh, the the people discuss about aerodynamics, uh, you know, perspective of uh, uh, propulsion components and uh, uh, other design perspective of propulsion components. And they are asking uh, frequently questions also on these topics. So this is all about syllabus of gate aerospace engineering. So everyone, is it clear about syllabus? Yes or no? Can respond quickly, guys. Yes or no? Sri Hari, Keshav, Dharmesh, others? So now you all are well aware of syllabus. Then we need to see how IGC, you know, approach syllabus for gate aerospace. So in gate aerospace, uh, we always, you know, uh, uh, do uh, syllabus uh, completion uh, from uh, basics, like from scratch to uh, all uh, core subjects. And uh, we, dis we have divided syllabus in seven sections uh, as followed. So engineering mathematics is one of the section. And then structures module we divided in engineering mechanics then strength of material aircraft structures and mechanical vibration so each and every topics and each and every questions from pyqs is solved uh, uh, in the structures module okay and you guys all know right in igc we started our fair batch with uh, engineering mathematics and uh, engineering mechanics right so that's how we approach syllabus from basics this aerodynamics module uh, we divided in three parts like basic fluid mechanics and already we have taken one demo class guys right for fluid mechanics and uh, we'll share that also on youtube tomorrow uh, and then aerodynamics and then gas dynamics so this is how uh, aerodynamics module is divided and propulsion module always we start with basic thermodynamics and guys we have already taken one demo class right Yes or no? We have taken one demo on thermodynamics basics also. We have taken one demo on rocket propulsion also. We have taken one demo on aerodynamics, right? We have taken one demo on strength of material basics. We have taken one demo also, guys, for uh, flight mechanics basics also. So always before starting, uh, our all team members provide demo classes, okay, for, uh, you know, their respective subjects. That's how we are a uh, teamwork okay and flight mechanics we divide in three parts basics of atmosphere aircraft performance and aircraft stability space dynamics is very small subjects as i have told and there are two parts in that one is basics of gravitational field and then orbit mechanics okay and the the last and most important part as i told uh, is covered very well in igc and you can see all 17 18 years of uh, pyqs uh, of uh, arrow gate a aptitude is already solved on our uh, uh, you know igc channel okay gate a aptitude part in fact for all subjects but aptitude along with the aptitude it is completed okay so guys if you learn errors get this gate aerospace engineering from igc no need to worry about any section of syllabus each and everything will be covered very well and we have subject expert for every subjects not just like one person teaching structures propulsion flight mechanics or uh, uh, you know only just two faculty or fa the people are not getting faculty they are not completing syllabus nothing such happens in igc now guys, uh, next is what? Uh, preparation resources. Once you understand syllabus and how IGC approaches syllabus, the next part is what? What are resources? So guys, uh, for IGC student, they have IGC lectures, the live and uh, after live, the recording of live classes. That is what best, uh, you know, resource. Then they have IGC study materials, IGC study materials, okay? 
for every subjects we have in depth study materials along with we have short notes also igc short notes so student can refer igc topic wise assignments uh, those who are igc enrolled student and uh, igc pyq solutions as i already mentioned in last slide uh, we have covered almost 17 years of uh, pyq solution on our youtube channel except some uh, you know some questions uh, or you can say some structures uh, uh, structure solutions are not available for few years we will complete this year otherwise for every subjects every every question is already available on our youtube channel we also have uh, pdfs of pyq solutions for our internal students they can use that igc mock exams those are best mock exams for any gate uh, aerospace aspirants and uh, you guys can check about igc mock exams feedback consistently from years uh, by the toppers either on Quora on our uh, you know different social media platform then uh, the another best and most important part is igc mentoring and guidance okay uh, that is unique uh, which is not available for outsider and igc doubt support igc doubt support is also unique because we are a team and 10 plus faculties are there and in igc doubt support uh, we answer each and every doubt uh, of students uh, during the peak months when you know so much of doubts are shared especially in december and january with our all dedication apart from these igc resources guys there are good resources available like standard books those who are not enrolled in igc they can refer standard reference books and then smartly np TA, NPTEL lectures. So these are the best resources for gate aerospace preparation. Okay. Some of IGC's open work is available, but uh, we cannot share everything, uh, you know, just like that. Now, guys, uh, the this is also very important what? Uh, reference books. Reference books for gate aerospace. So gate aerospace reference books you guys can see so general aptitude uh, if you are learning on own or you want a better reference and general aptitude by rs agarwal then engineering mathematics uh, there are multiple books like bs greval hk das and the best is what irwin crazy but if you want to practice numericals then bs uh, greval and hk das can be referred but for concept it is Irwin Krasik. Now fluid mechanics, um, if you want to learn very well like control volume approach and others, now FM White and SK SOM is another book for practice you guys can refer. Now uh, fundamental of aerodynamics by John D. Anderson for aerodynamics. Uh, Siloid uh, only NPTEL may not be enough. Because in NPTEL, first you, you will not able to understand what is uh, uh, from gate exam perspective and what not, uh, what is not from gate exam perspective. NPTEL like Ocean, they will not teach you for, you know, just for gate aerospace. They have taught as a subject. So first you need to know what to study from which subject and which topic and what not. So that's why everybody cannot prepare from NPTEL. Some people of course prepare those who are smart, but it's not like for everybody that easy to prepare from NPTEL. Okay. So if somebody told let's prepare from NPTEL, it's not necessary that approach is uh, valid for all. Okay. Now, Gas dynamics by E. Radhakrishnan, which is like for compressible fluid flow, and also in fundamental of aerodynamics, also this compressible fluid flow, uh, compressible uh, fluid flow part is available. Aircraft design and performance by John D. Anderson. Okay, flight stability and automatic control by Nelson. Mechanics of material by Gere or Timoshenko Gere. We don't use any 
books such as uh, some so called uh, indian author books for strength of material or mechanics of material aircraft structure by t s e magazin and citizen mechanical vibration by s s rao and uh, grover engineering thermodynamics by um, uh, you can say p k nag uh, moran sapiro or uh, sanjal and balls gas turbine theory by roser cohen and uh, v ganeshan for numericals rocket propulsion by k ramamurthy uh, from iit madras and space dynamics uh, no book is required only you guys can refer space technology course by nptel uh there are different courses uh, uh, mr padai uh, pugal in igc so fees varies uh, based on the course what course you are looking okay if you go for gate online coaching gate online coaching uh, course from igc uh we will discuss uh, uh, that course in brief at the last so gate online coaching co uh, coaching uh, course for that fees is uh, 35 35k but some concession currently we are giving so that is what the fee of gate online coaching course which is like the best course in igc where all required support is available okay so other other than these reference books there are two very important books is what introduction to flight by john d anderson and aerodynamics for naval aviator by h h hart so everyone is it clear what books to be referred yes or no sri hari keshav uh, dharmesh uh, those who are watching this session uh, uh, from igc also uh, about this reference books part is it clear yes or no quickly guys respond Uh, i will tell uh, padai pugal in this gate online coaching uh, what all support you get okay everyone is it clear about reference books part for gate aerospace engineering yes or no quickly guys and these are the best references should be used if you are preparing self, uh, by self or even if you are with igc as and when required you guys can refer this uh, textbook okay now the next important part is what subject wise wetes okay the next important part is what subject wise wetes so if you take uh, gate uh, 2024 paper which is by isc bangalore and it was very easy and the uh, most balanced paper in this uh, 2024 paper they asked questions from all subjects thoroughly from syllabus they asked question okay so there are always 10 questions from general aptitude they asked this time 6 to 7 question because there was some overlapping between engineering mathematics and mechanics so six questions from mathematics and three from engineering mechanics usually other institute do not bother to teach uh, engineering mechanics at all but this time three questions they asked aerodynamics um, 11 question and this aerodynamics includes uh, uh, like fluid mechanics uh, low speed aerodynamics and compressible fluid flow aircraft structures uh, there are eight question uh, which includes uh, flight vehicle structure and strength of material and three questions from mechanical vibration okay so total structures module also 11 question so you can see aerodynamics module 11 structures module 11 question propulsion again 11 question propulsion module and flight mechanics module 10 question and space dynamics 3 question so you guys can understand every subject in gate is important and every subjects if you take aerodynamics module 17 marks 17 marks structures module 13 plus 4 17 marks propulsion module 17 marks and uh, this uh, flight mechanics module 16 marks engineering mechanics and mathematics 13 marks and 15 marks and this 5 marks so this was the one of the easiest and the very well prepared paper you can say in this paper if somebody have prepared whole syllabus 
then only that person will able to answer all questions. If somebody say, okay, I will prepare two subjects, three subjects, and I will score best marks, was not possible in this paper. But paper was easy. Even if somebody was weak in some of the subjects, they could answer questions from that subject because level of questions were easy. Now come to GATE 2023 paper, and it was organized by IIT Kanpur. And in this paper, uh, you can see uh, some subjects like um, structures. You can see, uh, I think some issue is that mechanical vibration is not here. Some typo issue is that it is not for nine. OK, so uh, I have to check. It is reverse, actually. Uh, this flight mechanics should be nine, nine question and uh, mechanical vibration, three question. Okay, it should be like this, guys. Now, if you look again, uh, I think uh, this everywhere, mechanical vibration here and flight mechanics here. Now, guys, in this paper, if you see, what is the difference between other and this 2022 paper? In 2022 paper, you see mathematics was asked for 17 marks. Mathematics was asked for 17 marks. So usually weightage of mathematics is like 11 to 13 marks. But in 2022 paper, they asked for 17 marks. Apart from that also, guys, if you add this aircraft structures and this uh, mechanical vibration, both combined 22 marks. Okay. So there were more questions, guys, in 2022 paper from strength of material so sometimes they vary and if you see flight mechanics only eight question and that for 12 marks usually uh, flight mechanics it is for 17 plus marks clear so that's how year wise the difference happens now the same thing you can see here also in this paper flight mechanics is here okay uh, no, it is 24 paper. Okay. In 23 paper, already mentioned flight mechanics, nine question they asked. But in 2022 paper, there was only one question from aircraft stability and total flight mechanics questions were eight questions. So you guys can look into this. Now, if you took, uh, if you take GATE 2021 paper, and this was for IIT Bombay uh, guys uh, organized by IIT Bombay and in this paper also the paper was tough paper and you guys can see mechanical vibration is here and uh, flight mechanics again guys here and if you take a structures module it is 13 plus 13 plus 6 so it is for 19 marks now if you take propulsion it is 20 marks and uh, flight mechanics for 16 marks and uh, Guys, again, here, the, this should be um, aerodynamics and gas dynamics. So this is aerodynamics and uh, this should be gas dynamics. OK, so aerodynamics plus gas dynamics, it is for 19 months. And now you guys can look again. This is uh, gas dynamics and this is what aerodynamics, guys. Gas dynamics and aerodynamics, total 12 question, 18 marks. And this mechanical vibration is here, guys, and flight mechanics is here. So this is how you guys can see the weightage for, uh, you know, 2020 paper. Now, 2019 paper, again, guys, you can see this is gas uh, aerodynamics, OK? And this will be gas dynamics, guys. So there are total 11 questions and mechanical vibration this and this is uh, this is your flight mechanics so one thing you can see here flight mechanics 12 so these are the weightage year wise you guys can see and every year it varies now if you see 2018 paper it was for iit guwahati and in iit guwahati you can see uh, this is aerodynamics and it will be gas dynamics so there are total 15 questions. So in gas dynamics and aerodynamics, you can see in 2018, it's a 23 marks. 
So again, high weightage from aerodynamics and gas dynamics. If you take flight mechanics, guys, eight question only and mechanical vibration here, three question. Structures, guys, 13 plus 4, 17. And you can see 19 marks for propulsion, but flight mechanics was only 13 marks in 2018. Guys, 2018 paper was also easy paper. Okay. So, and space dynamics, marks, four questions that time for five marks. Now, 2017 paper, IIT Roorkee, because 2025 paper will be also by IIT Roorkee. And 2017 paper, you guys can see flight mechanics here. 11 question, vibration only one question, and uh, aerodynamics, 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 you guys can see six question, and it is gas dynamics, gas dynamics, five questions, so 18 marks. So it is a usual 17, 18 marks, that is. Of course, Hemant, uh, an online course helps a lot. Uh, in IGC, uh, many people join in third year and they all get the best benefit of our support. But only one thing you have to do, uh, you do not take uh, leniently, ki I have one more year uh, to prepare and do best in third, uh, like fourth year. If you are in third year, if you are joining coaching, you must uh, use uh, resources well and put your best efforts. So that's all uh, year wise subject that is you guys can see. OK, for your uh, you know information and you guys can make out of that. You need to prepare all subjects well yeah, and uh, year wise it varies. Sometimes they ask more questions from aerodynamics module, sometimes from structures, sometimes from uh, you know, flight performance, this uh, flight mechanics, sometime from propulsion and sometime from engineering mathematics also in 2022, like they asked for 17 marks. Now, guys, if you take strength of material and fluid mechanics in last few years, so strength of material in 2024, they asked six questions and for 10 marks. In uh, 2023, again, six questions for 11 marks. And you can see here, in 2022, SOM was asked 10 questions and for 15 marks. And 2021, it is 7 questions, 11 marks. And if you take fluid mechanics, always like 2 to 3 questions, 2 questions, 2 questions. And again, here they ask 5 questions in 2022 paper. So 2022 paper, guys, was very, uh, you know, easy paper for most of uh, third year student because they in 2022 paper, they ask more questions like from engineering, mathematics, SOM, fluid mechanics. And also that was an easy paper for mechanical student also, because many questions are there where, you know, mechanical students can also solve easily. And if you take 2021, there are four questions from fluid mechanics. So this is how you know, subject vectors and marks distribution. Now, if you take summary, summary, if you take aerodynamics section or module, it is always 20 plus minus marks. Um, structures in average 20 plus minus marks. Uh, general aptitude is always 15 uh, marks. Propulsion, you can say 15 plus minus marks because structures have like uh, three subjects, same way. Aerodynamics also three subjects, gas dynamics, aerodynamics, and fluid mechanics. Flight mechanics, again, 15 plus minus. Sometimes they ask 17. And in one paper, you can see it's a 22 around. And uh, if you take engineering mathematics, engineering mathematics also, you guys can see it is for 12 plus minus. In one paper, you can see for 17 marks. And uh, space dynamics, it is always three plus minus. So everyone, is it clear about sub marks, subject wise marks distribution? Yes or no? Quickly guys respond this. And if you guys are finding this session useful, can thumbs up.
are you guys finding this session useful so those who are finding this session useful can uh, like this session quickly guys respond yes or no okay now guys uh, we need to do summary so if you look into summary part uh, which subjects are very important guys if you look into summary uh, general aptitude is always very important engineering mathematics okay strength of material and uh, propulsion these are scoring subjects guys and these subjects will contain these four subjects will contain more than 50 marks okay so you guys must do well or should prepare well should not neglect any of these subjects which is uh, which are of 50 plus marks now guys uh, we will discuss in brief about how to prepare for gate aerospace and when to start preparation so Hemant your answer will be here so the best time to start gate preparation is what fourth semester because in third year guys the students will not have project work and other uh, you know uh, pressure so they can start preparing well for gate and uh, engineering students usually get two chance in third year and fourth year to write gate exam okay and uh, uh, so best time we consider always to start from fourth semester and minimum they should start from sixth semester so either currently students will be in fourth semester or sixth semester. So this is right time to start preparation. Ideally, how much time is required? It is not like you need two years of time to get best rank in GET. It is simple. Six months to one year is enough for getting any best rank. Even people can get a very good rank with two months of preparation also. Okay. With their smart and hard work. Okay yes uh phoenix yeah now guys uh, what should be the mode of uh, preparation online or offline guys so you all know right online have its own advantage offline also have its own advantage of psychological advantage but online have better advantage compared to offline in terms of like flexibility of the classes uh, anyone can learn from any place uh, in online recording of the classes are available so even if you miss any class you can always recap class or if you are not able to understand something in class you can watch again so these options are not there in offline classes you need you need not to travel you need not to go to other another city so online have many advantages and that's why I, igc take only online live interactive classes okay now online classes advantage and disadvantage I have told. Now guys, uh, you you need to prepare by coaching or self. That also you have to decide based on your capability, based on uh, where you stand uh, at this moment in terms of the engineering knowledge and all. Somebody told, okay, I prepared by self study. You also prepared by self study. It may work or it may not work okay somebody told i went this coaching you also go that coaching it may work or it may not so you have to decide how you want to prepare based on your own parameter based on your own requirement you know after you know looking into all important aspects so by coaching now if you want to prepare by coaching then uh, if uh, when you should feel uh, you should join coaching so if you feel um, I cannot decide what to study, how to study, and if you are not having, uh, you know, sound engineering background, so definitely you should go for coaching. So, the scope of conceptual learning, and uh, you are not very confident about preparation on your own, then you should coaching. And the coaching, what should be the coaching? The first, you guys should uh, see all the reality checks of coachings, like the number of teachers who are teaching, what subjects they are teaching, what is their track record okay uh, uh, how uh, you know uh, good they are connected with their alumni 
uh, uh, when they are sharing their result, you should check the students are from which college, uh, where they got further admission, what they are doing. Uh, GATE is not just enough. After GATE also, you need guidance for PSU and all other stuff. So you should check all those things and then you, you know, decide where to join your coaching. And uh, when you join uh, coaching, you should attend uh, classes regularly without bunking. And while uh, taking coaching, you must prepare your good in-depth notes, okay, uh, along classes. And refer good textbook and NPTEL lectures as and when required. And uh, we have discussed one more session prior to this. Uh, roadmap for GATE 2025 on our IGC uh, main channel, IITN's GATE Classes channel. You guys can refer that as well. You should solve all PYQs, questions, and assignments without uh, much support from others. Okay. If you are looking to do well in GATE and write mock exams and test series sincerely. So these are the suggestions for coaching students. Now, some suggestions for self study students, you guys can read these are the suggestions. So self-study student must have someone mentor and uh, if, are the, if they are good in their engineering, they can think of doing that. Uh, so what are the, uh, you know, the key uh, points or, uh, you know, keys for success in GATE uh, exam? So there are three Ds which you guys need to, you know, uh, inbuilt in your daily routine. Uh, three Ds. Uh, so what is discipline, dedication and determination? And there are two Cs which are consistency and commitment uh, should be there in your preparation and your journey. And one I always try to find improvement, always keep improvement, uh, keep improving. And all of these three uh, Ds, two Cs and one I Definitely, in the end, you will get a very good result. Okay. So now, few more things. These are IGC's open work. You guys can scan and uh, find this work. Okay. Our uh, study material, assignments, online exams, uh, our video lectures. Uh, we have two uh, different challen uh, channels like Gate Aerospace IGC, on which we are doing this session currently. We also have IGC official IITN's Gate Classes channel and you guys can also join our Telegram group for past and future updates. And uh, somebody was asking IGC's Gate online coaching program. So this is IGC's Gate online program for 2025 and 2026. And in this we provide live interactive classes first and after live class people get the recording of live class. Student will also get in-depth IGC study material in e-form. They will get topic-wise uh, assignments for self-practice. They will get regular online mock exams. They will get best doubt and uh, mentoring support and many more. Okay. So any doubt? Somebody was asking about IGC online program. And the fee for this program is uh, 35K. Uh, but some concession is always applicable for uh, meritorious students and uh, group joining uh, group joining and others okay now guys uh, these are igc's uh, track record uh, in last 3 years you guys can see uh, get 2023 results get 2022 results get 2021 result and get 2024 result is due and uh, again igcians will rock will will be getting best result because we are getting very encouraging marks. Many people got 70 plus marks in, from IGC in GATE 2024, okay, based on the official key. So definitely we'll have many rankers and many people have 60 plus marks also. So most of the people who have 70 plus marks, they will be like top 20 rank around. Those who have 60 plus minus marks, they will have under 50 kind of ranks. And uh, these are IGC's uh, PSU achievements in 2023. So we not just uh, guide or teach well for GATE Aerospace. Many IGC students get in uh, different PSUs. And as always told, currently uh, DGCA uh, uh, PSU recruitment is going on or government uh, job recruitment is going on. And also uh, DRDO 2024 uh, 
you know recruitment is in progress yet interview has to happen and why people should choose igc so these are the unique point of igc so igc is only india's uh, only we are only not uh, we are not only gate aerospace institute we are only institute in india who is a team based institute like for every subject we have an you know we have a subject expert it is not just like we teach only gate aerospace igc teach other other branches also like gate mechanical electronics electrical uh, in uh, cs uh, data science okay so that is what unique advantage of igc not disadvantage but what is the unique thing in igc it's a team based institute second igc is only institute in india which provide both live interactive in depth classes along with recording of sam okay even non aero students can, can can get any top rank you guys can see in our track record in gate 2023 ar2 was not aero engineer ar2 was electronics engineer and that person got ar2 in aerospace engineering so that's how we were from scratch and guys uh, some people now started live interactive classes after selling years of recorded classes i'm happy with that india's only institute which is starts teaching from scratch basic subjects like engineering mechanics engineering mathematics fluid thermo and so on so these points i'm sharing for those who have not yet enrolled for any coaching uh, many of you watching this session have already enrolled for igc and igc having track record of completing syllabus for all batches whichever batch they teach uh, one month in advance and teaches all subjects including mathematics and aptitude uh, a comprehensive study material and topic wise assignments are given uh, best gate aerospace online test series you guys can always see about igc online test series uh, you know impact in our top rankers and we have 2500 plus unique uh, questions apart from pyqs or our assignments and even we get best rank for our test series students also with the hard working and mentoring and guidance of our you know team and uh, india's only institute uh, which provides not just gate aerospace, aerospace subjects we also provide support for psu exams like hldt exams dgc exam uh, mock interviews for drdo scientist position and many more we have provided also supports like for airport authority of india exam uh, recently hl uh, dd always we are providing icrb exams also we provide very well for isro okay now guys uh, you can see uh, uh, we have the best alumni network and uh, we have got uh, 70 plus students uh, in different iits and iic in 2023 and uh, we are a team who, who have both academic as well as industrial uh, background which brings uh, you know unique in your career guidance ability in terms of the career guidance ability for every students so igc is all in one solution for all gate aerospace aspirants so that's what and now if any doubt guys uh, I'm free to take up. Anybody having any doubt? Hemant, is your doubt clear? Padai Pugal, Lohit. So, guys, uh, uh, you may be from some x or y coaching institute but wherever you have joined you have to prepare well you have to work hard you have to follow your basics uh, if you're not getting enough support then you have to travel your journey on your own uh, and you guys can refer uh, igc have shared uh, many free work so i'll just share our some of the free work okay so let me share our IGC's free work, guys. So before um, uh, you guys can see, if you guys uh, need uh, further support, 
you guys or you guys have any further query you guys can reach on this number you guys can call us okay and uh, you guys can also write a mail on this mail id you guys can visit our website for further details about our different courses and you guys can also uh, follow us on different social media backgrounds or uh, so social media platforms not backgrounds social media platforms to get more updates and or uh, you guys can uh, join our telegram group to see all past and future updates now i will uh, share some of igc's uh, you know free work so if you want to see igc's free work let me share some of the igc's free work so if you visit IITN's Gate Classes website, uh, then you can find uh, many important steps at, uh, in this Gate study materials. You can see assignments for aptitude. You can see some, uh, you know, sample lectures and all. Here it is very important. All the formula sheets are given, really available. Okay. So then you guys can also go to I igc's uh, youtube channel so you can uh, i was saying uh, all pyq solutions are there you guys can go to playlist and find the uh, you know for different subjects pyq solutions okay and uh, you can see here uh, this gate is aerospace 2023 solutions if you go to igc's gate aerospace channel you can find uh, many lectures you can see the lectures here series uh, for fluid mechanics engineering mechanics thermodynamics strength of material gas dynamics you can see many more things also uh, like uh, different bsu uh, related guidance okay so you guys can see here this is igc's platform okay uh, website uh, YouTube channel and here you can see all different you know lectures and other important things okay and uh, uh, we also share the daily quiz okay you guys can see the the daily quizzes for technical subjects and all uh, for gate 2023 you guys can see these are our daily quizzes okay so we have started for 2025 also daily quiz guys and uh, recently we started with uh, mathematics so uh, usually math and aptitude uh, we share here our daily quiz you guys can see and you guys can see uh, all the PYQ solutions as I was as I was telling here you guys can see so many playlists are there so you can see particular subjects playlist and find the PYQ solutions if I open I'll just open for one of the you know subjects uh, I was talking about general aptitude playlist so if you take aptitude yeah you can see uh, aptitude uh, PYQ solutions if you click uh, all years PYQ solutions are there in this playlist. And 2024 also there, but it is on our IGC's new channel, Gate Aerospace channel. Okay. So that's all from my side, guys. And uh, thank you guys for watching this session. And whoever have any further uh, you know, requirement of support, they can contact to us on our IGC contact number or you guys can write mail to us. Thank you guys.